Today we are going on a quest to see which touristy cafe has the worst wine experience. <laughs> but we'll just see overall the experience of the wait, the actual service once you get in, and then of course the prices between a couple of Vienna's most touristy cafes. Now we've passed these lines a few times, so we're not really sure what we're going to be walking into. I don't know, I'm guessing maybe 30 minutes will we? I hope. <laughs> so we did talk a little bit about the coffee culture in Vienna and just in general, you know, what people like to do here. but. We went to more of like a coffee house yesterday and these cafes are a lot more traditional. So we also did not get traditional Viennese coffee. Exactly. So, so that's on the list. One thing we have to definitely try. And there's also, of course, a very famous dessert that we have to get here in Vienna. Uh, I think there's two. I think there's well, two actually. So one is a chocolate cake called Soccer Tort. Soccer Tort? Soccer Tort? I soccer think it's Torta. Soccer Torta. The other being Apfel Strudel. All right, we're gonna move out of the way before we get run over by the horses. <laughs> <laughs> we're approaching our first cafe, so let's see how long the line is. I think so far so good. It looked a little longer yesterday when we walked past, so fingers crossed it's under 30 minutes. So we've reached the 10 minute mark. No one else is lined up behind us, but I'm thinking we're gonna beat our 30 minute guests. We've been treated to the ambience of horse carriages. It's a great ASMR. One more to go, and the next one up. Final minute count was 13, 13 minutes, and I think that we lucked out because I think it's usually a lot longer. I think we totally lucked out. So we're here and we're gonna get our traditional Viennese coffee. So this is the Einspinne. This is an espresso, a large espresso, with whipped cream on top, and then this cookie as well. So this is a more traditional Viennese style coffee. And Sydney got the most traditional right over here. So I got the Cafe Milan. It's one shot of espresso, Viennese style, infused with hot water and steamed milk. So Sydney's making me patiently wait for our second dessert. We got two of the most famous desserts here in Vienna. This is called Soccer Torta, we mentioned it before. It is essentially a chocolate cake, but it has this really thick layer of like chocolate ganache on top, and then it's served with whipped cream as well. This is what this place is famous for, and a lot of these other uh, cafes are famous for their Soccer Torta. I just can't wait to dig in. So it has officially arrived the infamous apple strudel, which comes from Vienna specifically. And this is a phyllo dough that's wrapped around apples, warm apples and cinnamon, and then rum raisins, and it's all kind of just wrapped together. And it's also served with a little scoop of vanilla ice cream, so this is just apple cinnamon deliciousness. It's distinctly different from apple pie because you don't have like that glue kind of filling and <laughs> the crust is obviously a lot different. Lots of cinnamon. I think I tried the ice cream. It's very soft ice cream. Okay, that's the perfect bite right there. Delightful. I'm now tasked with trying the soccer torte. It comes in this plastic thing. I'm just gonna go for it. Not the best chocolate cake I've ever had, but I do enjoy that top layer of ganache. It's really nice. And the apricot layer is really interesting too. I don't think I've ever 
never had that type of pairing before, so. All right, I guess it's time to try the other one. I think Max is a bit more wowed at the strudel, so let's see what he thinks about the torta. Okay. I can definitely see what Sydney's saying, like, the top layer is the best part. And I almost wish it was like more of that and less of the cake because the cake's just a cake. There's a little bit of apricot flavor to it, but yeah, it's good. <laughs> I would just eat that top layer with whipped cream. It's good. The apples are like still a little crunchy. The phyllo dough is amazing. Um, and having it with the melted ice cream, that's my favorite part. I really wanted to get strudel last night, but they had no sweets. No sweets. At the restaurant, at the schnitzel place. So, this is a welcome addition to the day. I'm not wow, but I'm a tough critic when it comes to sweets. You just want it to be like ridiculously sweet. If we waited in line <laughs> all day for this, I would not be a happy camper. I do think it's very good. It's um, more so like a fruity, the cinnamon comes through, the spices. And every once in a while you get a raisin in there. So the soccer torta is very specific to the Vienna region. The apple strudel is like the pinnacle Austrian dessert. So I think that if I saw both of these on the menu, I'd go for the strudel. Step one complete, Cafe Central. We're off to look around a little bit and then go to our next stop. It's about the same length of line as when we got here as when we left. I would definitely say if you're coming on like a Sunday afternoon, it's gonna be somewhere around 10 to 15 minute wait. The prices were okay. I mean, it wasn't cheap, <laughs> obviously, was cheap. considering like the section of the city we're in but for what you got it's not terrible yeah overall i'd say like it's probably a one and done i don't know if you have to do that ever again the vibes were good yeah but that was about it it was a beautiful room yeah coffee was good desserts were okay Alright, we've arrived at stop two, Demel Cafe, and it's about the exact same line as Cafe Central. Maybe just a few more people in this one. We've been it's here for five minutes. Nothing's five minutes so far, so I think we're gonna pass our 13 minute mark. And it's right in the shadow of the CC Museum over here, and then this is kind of like the main promenade in Vienna behind us. So a lot more foot traffic over in this area. It's kind of cool, you can see them making the, the crepes or the pancakes right in the window. And I've already seen some soccer torta, so. Yay! <laughs> we didn't even finish the last one. This is, we can't, we can't hate on soccer torta, come on. I'm gonna People, give it another shot. I, it wasn't bad, I liked it. It just wasn't, it didn't like blow my socks off, I guess. The wait continues. So we have officially found a seat in the outside patio area. We're gonna be ordering the exact same thing that we got at Cafe Central. So we can get just a comparison of the two. I don't think we're gonna be eating the entire desserts just because they're a little rich. So uh, back to back might be a little tough, but we are gonna compare them and see also pricing. We haven't really gotten a good look inside, but the outside is perfect. I mean, right by uh, the museum behind us and then going to the promenade the other way. There's just a lot of foot traffic, great for people watching. This is definitely a very pleasant place to come when it's warm out. So we'll be ordering one Malinje, one... Those little dogs. Excuse you. <laughs> we'll just patiently wait to get this run down. I bet it was a schnauzer. We'll be getting one melange, one Einspanner, one 
soccer court and one apple strudel. I just love the way these are served. They look so pretty. Like these glasses, these see-through glasses where you can see all of the espresso kind of just melting, or the whipped cream rather, melting into the espresso. Danke. That's so much better. It's warmer, it's like served warmer, and the phyllo dough on top is just a better consistency. The other one was a little too crunchy for my taste. Like obviously you want it to have a little crunch to it, but you don't want it like hard. That is amazing. I feel like I'm living my peak Viennese life right now. This is Austria. has a lot less foam so you can actually like drink the espresso with the foam. Very nice. Okay. So this is a two layer cake. You can see the distinctive apricot layer where the other one I think was just one layer. I need to go in again. This is much better. Again, it's still a little dry, but not as dry as Central Cafe. There's just more apricot. In the other one, you had to really think about it. You had to really look for it, whereas this one just comes in. Yeah, I mean, that's like a distinctive factor of it. Otherwise, it's kind of just chocolate cake. So. Exactly. It's good that I can't wait to mm. try it. Here you go. So, Demel wins. Demel wins. All right, let's try this. That's distinctive. Mm -hmm. I've never really had anything like that. The other one was like, I've had chocolate cake before. I'm still gonna say that the ganache is the star of the show, but as you can see, the ratio is just a little better as far as cake to ganache. I thought on the other one, it was like just a little bit of ganache on top and then like all cake. That's bomb. Yeah, that's just, that's way better. The apples are a bit more done. They're not like very crunchy. The last bit was at Central, they were crunchy. And I just feel like the filling here is just a little bit more cohesive. I will agree, Max, this is good. So I really did enjoy the strudel at uh, Cafe Central, but this one's just a step up. I think the other one was like a six out of 10. This one's pretty close to a 10. It's so gritty with the cinnamon. The flavor, every bite is just absolutely amazing. Yeah, we've been so smitten over the desserts, I haven't even tried my coffee yet. Which is probably a good thing because I'm very caffeine sensitive. And the last place I was feeling it. Mm. Oh, that's interesting. You can like taste the espresso in the whipped whip cream. And not even really mix it. I just took that right off the top. But that definitely is a distinct <laughs> espresso flavor. Yeah, there's a definite bite to uh, the espresso. And it's just made a little bit softer with whipped cream. It's simple. It's a very simple idea, but one that I've never really seen served before. Demel, you are the winner! Yeah. Now, we only went to two cafes, and there's hundreds in this city, so... Yeah, I mean, a lot of them are probably a lot less touristy as well, but I did really enjoy that one. I did too. Touristy or not, I mean, it's so fun to have, like, all of the foot traffic going by. Yeah. Okay, no need to bore you with scoring all the different items that we got from each place, because every single item that we got, we liked better at Demel. Yeah, pretty, pretty straightforward. <laughs> um, as far as the pricing, it was pretty similar. They were both around like 28 euros. So if you think about that for like two coffees, two desserts, that is kind of pricey, but... It's expensive. Um, it's it's not just something you gotta do every once in a while. Yeah, Demel the clear winner. Uh, glad that we had that experience. It's not something that you have to do all the time when you come to Vienna. Totally. Uh, there's probably cafes that are a lot cooler for way less money, but tonight we have reservations at a traditional Austrian restaurant. Can't wait for some more Wiener schnitzel. schnitzel. We got schnitzel last night, which was made with pork. Tonight, we're gonna get the actual Viennese Wiener schnitzel made with veal, veal and cranberry sauce. 
This place is called Greichenheisel, and it's right by St. Stephen's Cathedral. So if you're walking in that area, um, just coming right towards the canal, it's gonna be pretty much right here. So definitely recommend it for some schnitzel. First of all, it's gigantic. Like it is literally three of my heads, like kind of like a like an elephant ear in a fair. Just absolutely takes over the plate. It's like uh, hanging off of the sides of the plate. Just absolutely incredible. What I like about Wiener Schnitzel is the lemon on top. I just absolutely drench this stuff in lemon juice. Just the acidity uh, and the sourness of the lemon combined with the saltiness of the veal and the batter. I think it is the perfect combination. It reminds me of like a fish fry, except it's better because the veal is just so flavorful. This veal is like pounded down so thinly and the way you cut into it, it is just absolutely incredible. So I can't recommend this place enough. It's called Greikeheisel.